change, the next six years of your life is going to be just like the last six. You'll still be behind on your bills. You'll still be behind on your promises. But then he gave it to me in the form of a promise. When I was 25 years old, I've remembered it all these years, and I've shared this promise now with probably over 3 million people in the last 30 plus years. And it's going to be valid for you, so listen carefully to this promise. My teacher said to me, young man, if you will change, everything will change for you. If you will get better, everything will get better for you. What a clear message that was for me. He said, if you'll change your philosophy, you'll change your habits, if you'll refine your thinking, if you'll change and accept some new disciplines, if you'll turn the corner where you've been in the past, go for a new life for the future, he said, all kinds of remarkable things will happen for you, if you will change. Before I met Mr. Shope, I used to cross my fingers and say, I sure hope things will change. I was hoping the government would change and the tax structure would change and that my boss would change and pay me more money. Uh, I was hoping that, you know, economics would change and prices would come down. And I was hoping that circumstances would get better. And then I discovered from my teacher that those things are going to continue the same. In fact, all of those things that happen to us, it's kind of like the wind that blows. And the wind blows on us all. In fact, in America, especially, the last six and a half thousand years of recorded history, we've got probably the most favorable wind that's ever blown. Economics and circumstances, living in a free country, democracy and freedom, uh, an excellent economy. Uh, sure, we struggle at times, but compared to the rest of the world in the last six and a half thousand years, we've got the best wind ever. But if you just let the wind blow, I'm telling you, it won't take you where you want to go. Alright, let's see what we got here today. See, when, when you've been working a stop for a minute, uh, you already know what cases to grab because of the customer, or maybe you, you know, you work the customer for a while. You start recognizing the cases and you just, you know, you just know what to grab for certain stops. The more you do it, So when you come into food service, if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you can come in and get your own route. I think this job is so much easier when you have your own route. You know where you're gonna be going each day, as opposed to uh, Yeah, the label on that boss as opposed to you know trying to figure it out figure out where you got to park where you got to go all those sort of things so yeah having your own route definitely makes this job easier it's a little bit heavier than i wanted it But, you know, everything come with time, man, with this job. Any job, really. You do it long enough, you know, it start getting easier for you. It's just the way it is.
somebody was like, bro, make some more uh, day in the life type vlogs. Shout out to you, man. I appreciate you supporting the channel. The person who said that. Oh, let me show you something real quick. So the reason I didn't put that sugar on the bottom is because you see, well, maybe you can see my blade. I'm not sure, but it's got like some ridges and uh, some of it bent up just due to, you know, putting a ramp on the dolly. So if I put that sugar at the bottom, when I pull out from underneath of it, it can actually uh, put a hole in the bag. So that's why I don't put that on the bottom. I don't put anything on the bottom now with this dolly being that it's like it is with the blade. Anything that I think it can rip the case or the back, I don't put it at the bottom. So it's just little things like that to be aware of when you're dealing with this stuff. We don't put it on the top. So we don't have to worry about that. It's not gonna rip through the, uh, that plastic on those rice bags. So just little things like that help you keep from uh, damaging cases. Got something real quick, and I've said this before in previous videos, but this retractable handle right here is a game changer, man. It makes it so much easier to pull from underneath your load. Now I know there are a lot of you know food service drivers out there that feel differently about these retractable handles. The combination of the brakes and the retractable handle, to me, this tool, talking about the hand truck, man, it just makes it so much easier when you're doing a job like this. This is a necessary tool in my mind um, to have for this particular work. Yes, you can use a dolly with no brakes. That's cool, but when you're going down a ramp like this right here, especially some of you new drivers out there, um, it just makes it so much easier to control the dolly, control your load, and it's just added safety, man, at the end of the day, especially if you're, you know, coming down a ramp with a real heavy load. That's just my opinion. Now watch how easy it is for me to pull away from this load when I drop. Watch this. Now most guys, you gotta put your foot underneath here. This is something we used to do in the beer business when I deliver beer and pull it out. But you don't have to worry about all that, man. You don't have to worry about struggling trying to pull it out. I mean, you just pull the handle. How easy is that? Simple, man, simple. If you one of those uh, food service delivery drivers that wear tennis shoes and you know you may not have a composite toe boot on or shoe or steel toe or whatever the case may be, a lot of times when you're putting your foot right here underneath this bar and you're pulling out of it, depending on how heavy that load is, it that thing can hurt your feet pulling out from underneath it. So, you know, just not being able to do that or not having to do that, I should say, it just makes it so much easier, man. And I'm all about making this job as easy as possible and having this type of dolly to do this work it just it, it does just that it makes this job a lot easier that's just my opinion though y'all let me know what you think So these are the last four cases for this stop. When you hear that beep, you know that's it, man. So 
we're gonna get ready to get up out of here once we drop these off in the freezer. On to the last stop, man. Y'all keep it locked. understand you got to realize that you're going to have some moments I'm not going to say days you're going to have some moments where everything isn't going to go your way you're going to have some issues things are going to happen you just have to know how to respond and not necessarily react in a way that's gonna make your day worse. I'm trying to get into the spot right now. But yeah, you just gotta know how to react, guys. That's the key to this job, man. Or at least to have a success at this job. This job can really defeat you from a mental standpoint and have you ready to quit <laughs> the first day. Like literally, why you in training or anything like that, man. So just be mindful of that, guys. Things are gonna happen. One thing I can tell you though, if you're lucky enough to get a route when you start, I think that's gonna, you know, make it a, a lot better for you. A lot easier. If you get into this space and you don't get a route and you go to the extra board, that may be, you know, a little more, that may be a little more challenging for you starting out. You know, everybody, or well, I won't say everybody, but a lot of people that start out on the extra board, you know, you go, you go through a, a little struggling phase early on. You know, getting to learn the job and things of that nature, being out on your own. 
and you know you got somewhat of a learning curve particularly in this in this uh, particular job in food service you know figuring out where to go figuring out where to park figuring out where you need to go to make your deliveries whether it's the front entrance of a, of a establishment or you know in the in the in the rear so you know it's just a it's a lot of um things you have to figure out doing food service delivery a lot of things you got to figure out but the most important thing is you know while you're in training make sure you're paying attention uh make sure you ask questions that way you can be informed and have a lot if not all of the information you need in order to be successful, man. Don't be afraid to ask questions in training. All right? Very important. But that's about it, guys. Um, I'm going to get ready to drop this trailer. Finish doing my sign out. Finish my post trips and things of that nature. And I'm going to get ready to get out of here. It is 7 o'clock on the dot right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. 7 o'clock. So, yeah, man, we getting ready to head to the house, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. You guys take it easy, man. I'm out of here.